Hello everyone, my name is Araceli Garcia and I'm your ELA TOSA for secondary schools at our district HLPUSD. Welcome back. If you saw the first video, I talked a little bit about how to access your students' performance task scores. And so you might be asking, well, what can I do? How can I help my students improve their writing scores? So there's this great website called Tools for Teachers. So if you go and Google it, right, Tools for Teachers, it'll take you to this site here. I actually have another video where I talked about some of the other programs you can hear use here. So there are release test questions that you can do, and there's actually whole sample lessons that uh, teachers have created, as you can see, educator created lessons that target specific uh, standards and skills. So again, great website. The one I wanna focus on today though, is I'm gonna scroll all the way down, all the way down here to this one where it says Smarter Annotated Response Tool. So if you click on that, It'll you here and you can find out all this information, but this is really a gold mine. If you go scroll down, you will now have access to lots of sample essays, right? Exemplars. So depending on what grade level there, you can see all the different genres of writing. And so here, for example, let's say I'm teaching seventh grade or eighth grade. I can actually take a look at what are some of those prompts and how are students writing? So I'm gonna go here and the first thing I'm gonna do is open the rubric so that maybe I'm going to review with my students what is expected of them. So definitely, you know, we know that for organization and purpose, you're gonna get a four. Uh, for evidence and elaboration, it's also out of a four. And for conventions, it's out of a two. So I would definitely do a little mini lesson on using that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go here to it says, go to related student responses and it takes me to this page. So now it has all, you know, this bank of just different essays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter a little bit. So let's say I'm teaching a seventh grade and I want it to be explanatory and I can even choose a topic. So since we just did, you know, maybe we want them to talk about Mount Everest. Maybe I just did a whole thing about that. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go, go ahead and let it go. All right. So it's going to go ahead and let's see if it has it. It's going to give me these explanatory, right? Uh, uh, oops, did I get it? Filter, let's see if it went. Yep. Okay. And then it's going to go see. Okay. So now uh, I have it filtered a little bit more. Got it. And so, uh, oh, it looks like they don't have explanatory. So I'm just going to go there. There it is. Okay. So I will see here uh, essays that have no score. So I can show my students why they wouldn't get a score at all right? I can go down and see the scores here. So you can see how it's organized. So this kiddo here got a three out of four in organization, three out of four for evidence and two out of two for conventions. I could keep going. I could see some of these. I got four, fours and twos, uh, some of the lower, uh, you know, skilled ones. So this would be great as a teaching tool, right? So let's say I'm, I want to show students why someone might get a one. So if I go here, the first thing I see is, okay, well, right, it's very short, doesn't really look like an essay, right? Uh, we already have some capitalization errors, right? And I can turn on the explanation of why this test got this score, right? So here's a general overview, and now I can click on, okay, why did they get a one? There it is, there is little to no discernible plot, or there may just be a series of events, uh, maybe brief, there's little to no attempt to establish the setting, right? So this would be great for students to maybe use this same kind of uh, wording on a sample essay that you give them. So maybe you give them a different one and have them come up with the whys. Why did they get a one? Here's another one on development and elaboration, right? And same thing for convention, infrequent use of sentence formation, infrequent use of correct capitalization, infrequent use of correct punctuation. So again, you could turn this into a little lesson where they are calibrating uh, essays. Now, if you wanna see what the prompt look like, looks like, go ahead and click up here and it'll take you to this page and just go ahead and go to explore sample item. And now you can actually see the entire performance task. So here's, you know, remember that performance tasks have a part one, right? And a part two, so part one, they're gonna have, you know, all of that evidence that they're gonna read through um, and then you know, they're gonna to have to answer a few questions here. So I might even take a moment to show them how they would answer these questions, full complete sentences, right? 
um, make sure that they're answering the question. If it says give two, make sure that they're providing two uh, types of evidence. And then here's the part two. Now to take a look, I want just, this is for seventh grade again, what the student was asked to do. It says they're going to write a story, right? So it says, uh, you will now review your sources, take notes, right? Da, da, da. And it says, as part of a social studies exhibit, there will be a collection of realistic fiction stories. You are going to write a multi-paragraph story to include in the exhibit. Your story in the exhibit will re be read by teachers, students, parents, and friends. For your story, imagine that you have a chance to climb Mount Everest. When writing your story, tell a story about something that happens as you climb the mountain. When writing your story, find ways to use information and details, right? Make sure to develop characters, setting, plot, details, dialogue, and descriptions where appropriate. So, you know, I do a lot of little workshops on having students do creative type of writing on programs such as Microsoft Sway, even uh, things like uh, Book Creator. This would be a great assignment to have them do maybe a newsletter or an article on Sway, and it's still hitting that writing uh, task. The only difference is they're using a cool tech tool to really motivate them to want to write. So again, you're welcome to email me if you want to find out more about that. So again, that is how you would do uh, this. Uh, I could go back here, all right? And I can see other essays, uh, again, that are similar, right? So similar uh, responses. So I can go here and find more essays and change the topics. All right, so that's just a little tool. I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much and have a great rest of the day.